Hi, this is Ellen from Health Aspire. Today we're going to be making Greek meatball bake, a perfect meal for all the family uh, to share. Kids especially love meatballs and we've got some hidden veg in the meatballs so we're going to hide in some carrot and courgette. So we're going to be using some minced lamb, which is a typical meat of Greece, some grated courgette, just to add in some extra uh, vitamins and minerals, some grated carrot, an egg, free range of course, um, some dried garlic, and then for our sauce, some tomato passata, red wine, some black olives, and some feta, and we're gonna finish the dish with pine nuts and mint. So I'm gonna start by making the meatballs, Ideally you use a food processor, if you haven't got one you can do it by hand and mash it up with a fork um, but you'll have a smoother meatball uh, if you use the food processor. So the lamb mince is going to go in here and then we're going to use half the courgette and we're going to save the other half for the sauce. Half the carrot. One egg. And this just helps to hold it all together. Traditionally, meatballs would have in them breadcrumbs, which would be like a binder, but because this dish is gluten-free, then we're gonna use an egg. A uh, bit of garlic as well. So I'm gonna pop the lid on and just blend them for a couple of minutes. So we're gonna roll the meatballs, but we're gonna just cook them um, to brown them off in a little bit of olive oil first before they go into the oven. So a bit of olive oil and then I'm going to use a spoon, a dessert spoon or tablespoon. These measuring spoons are really handy because it'll help you to get the same size meatball. And the reason why you want the same size is because they just cook evenly basically. So we can just start by placing them in there. So just rolling them up. So children tend to love meatballs, my daughter definitely does, so just by grating in this extra veg is a great way, um, once the sauce is on there you'll never know it was there. And it also gives you a lovely texture on the meatballs, um, just a softness to them. I haven't seasoned them yet, I'm going to do that once they go into the Pyrex dish. So they're sizzling away, we're on quite a high heat here, we're just browning them off. Um, you can sort of leave them for a minute and then you can gently turn them over so that they're brown on each side before we transfer them then into the Pyrex dish. I'm just going to turn them, they should be just a little bit brown that side, just to give them a bit of colour and to get that flavour, that lovely flavour of the lamb into the dish before we transfer them then into the oven. So I'm, <laughs> we're steaming up a bit here, um, but I'm just going to add the onions in to fry them off with the nice fat then coming out of the lamb. Just gently because you don't want to break up the meatballs. And then I'm going to add in the rest of the courgette. But this is going to help thicken our sauce naturally so you won't need any sort of corn flour with this dish because the vegetables are going to disintegrate in the cooking process and give you a lovely thick sauce. I'm putting carrots in here just to give a sweetness really um, to complement the tomato. Just gently, gently stir. Just stir through just for a few minutes just to sort of cook through that onion and start to soften the vegetables. So I'm going to add in some passata to make our sauce. So about 750ml of passata here, 
some red wine. I love using wine in cooking. I don't really drink a lot of wine, but I love to use it in cooking. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit. Some sliced black olives. So really Mediterranean flavours going in here. Then we're going to add in some feta. So feta traditionally is made with sheep's milk and um, can be made with goat's milk as well, but not usually cow's milk. So if you're buying it in the supermarket, make sure you look at the packet and sort of check that they are using sheep's milk. That would be the traditional version. Sometimes it's a bit cheaper, they might put some cow's milk in there, but sheep's milk is a traditional Greek cheese. We're going to sprinkle on some pine nuts. I love pine nuts, it's such a sweet flavour and again bursting with those anti-inflammatory fats. And then we're going to finish this dish with a very Greek herb, uh, some fresh diet, chopped mint. Oh, it smells absolutely gorgeous. And this is going to be ready then to go in the oven for about 25 minutes. So to put it in the oven, we are going to transfer it into a Pyrex dish. If you've got an oven proof handle on your frying pan, you could just put it straight in the oven. I'm just going to season it with plenty of salt and pepper. As it cooks, these little cubes of feta are going to melt into the sauce. So it's ready to go in the oven, um, about 175 degrees on, in a middle shelf for about 25 minutes. So our meatballs are ready, coming out of the oven. They are sizzling hot, but ready to serve with a simple salad uh, and maybe some garlic noodles. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed those meatballs. To find out more recipes like this, check out my cookbook, The Real Food Cookbook, filled with around 100 recipes that are gluten-free and suitable for all the family. Uh, to find out what we do at Health Aspire, check out healthaspire.co.uk. Have a delicious day.